Gordon, thank God you're okay. Hold on a sec. I'll get you out of there. Ah. Let's hope this still works. Stand back. Here goes. Wow. I forgot what a kick this thing has. Here, you take the gravity gun. You're better with it than I am. When I couldn't find you, I got... <laughs> I know, I know. I shouldn't have worried. Well, we should keep moving. I'm sure the Combine haven't forgotten about us. I heard Vorticons a few minutes ago. Maybe they're still around. We've got a long way to go to find my dad. It'd be nice to have some extra help. all over again. I hope we don't get many more. I hadn't noticed this before. Surprised if the rebels use this place. Safe haven it ain't. Zombies. I got them.
communication center. Let's see if we can get out a message to my dad. Dr. Kleiner and my dad are up north at an old missile base. I hope they're still using this frequency. They're trying to help launch a... Ah, here we go. Damn. What now? Huh. If I were to... Hmm. Let me see if I can get it working again. What a mess. This could take a while. Hey, if you have any blinding insights into how to fix this, go for it. White Forest! White Forest, this is Alex Vance. Do you read? White Forest, come in! White Forest, are you there? Alex! My goodness! Is that really you? Yes! And Gordon, too! We're okay. We made it out of City 17. <sighs> Alex! Thank God! I can hardly believe it. Don't worry, Dad. We're fine. But something really strange is happening with the Citadel. Oh, yes. We've been monitoring the situation. The raw discharge of the meltdown has been focused into a coherent beam of portal energy. It's the Combine. They're trying to open another gateway. Yes. What you're seeing is the infancy of a super portal. If it attains full strength... It'll be the seven-hour war all over again. Except this time we won't last seven minutes. My God. Gordon, what if that's why they were sending so much data from the Citadel? So that- Data? From the Citadel? In the control room. They were feeding huge volumes of data directly into the core destruction sequence. Magnuson, did you hear that? I'll bet it's the Combine Portal Code. Yes, yes, I'm not deaf. I downloaded the whole packet. They've been chasing us ever since. Well, of course they have. You see, Kleiner, it's the linchpin of all of their plans. Well, I can see that. I never Somewhere said. in that sequence, they would have had to establish a connection with the far side. What you have there, young lady, is the specific contact code for the Combine Overworld. Good God. Now, if I am right about this, and I have no reason to doubt myself, you are carrying the very code Dr. Mossman had hoped to recover. Now, how soon can you get here? Well, we'll have to get our bearings, but we can definitely... There is no time to waste. We'll need to step up the launch schedule. And now, as soon as you get here with the signature data, we'll encode the satellite and get the damn thing into orbit. Get here as quickly as you can, you two. Dad? Dad! You're breaking sweep. up! Come in! Biotics Dad, are you confirmed. there? Dad! Continue oh, surface no. sector sweep. Remote compliance. They're still tracking us. We need to keep moving. Mandates of level restrictions. Come on, this way. Those buildings look like they've seen some use recently. We should find a way out there. Dr. Magnuson has an old rocket up at White Forest. He's been hoping for the day. What was that? Did you hear that?
quiet. We're not alone. Careful up there. I'll keep watch out here. I am pleased to see at least you are unharmed. But the Alex Vance, her condition is grave. The other will require more than I alone can conjure. Let me summon my kin. My kin will meet us at a sheltered location beneath the surface. We must move her there quickly. I will stabilize her if the free man will provide us with protection. Let us hurry, free man. Help awaits us in the mine. We must face her state is delicate. Perhaps the Freeman can restore this elevator's functionality.
Vance clings to the margins. My kin are still some distance away. For now, we must not be disturbed. Yeah, well, about that. As long as you're down here, Freeman, maybe you can give us a hand. Let me show you how the antlion sensors work. Got some supplies over here if you need them. Health and ammo, that sort of thing. This sensor will light up if an ant lion's coming down this tunnel. More lights mean more ant lions. When a tunnel lights up, we move a few turrets in front of it. Pretty simple, eh, Doc? Hey, Doc. On your way here, you weren't followed, were you? Don, listen to him, Doc. We're on edge because this place is riddled with ant lions. The board says as long as we don't step on their grubs, they shouldn't hear us this far from the nest. Yeah, well, that's a theory I'd rather not test. We're down to our last two turrets, and even these are held together by bailing wire and duct tape at this point. Nice to have them in a pinch, but I wouldn't exactly trust them with my life. Hey, Griggs, you might want to show Dr. Freeman, Freeman where we keep the supplies, huh? Oh, yeah. Down there by the fort. Everything you need for Dr. They're, They're coming! coming. One light! Let's, Let's move. move. We have to defend the fort. as long as they stick to one tunnel. Dr. Freeman, you take care of the turrets. Freeman, but things were pretty quiet until you showed up. Swarm at 24! Come on, come on, let's go! I'm coming, I'm coming!
You handle 12, Doc. Hey, you see a bug on me, how about you try to get it off next time?
Exhausted their immediate number. Now to the next matter of urgency. The Alex Vance. <laughs> Her injuries are grave. This will necessitate deep submersion in the Vortex. Indeed. We require the larval extract. <laughs> oh, yes. The extract. extract. Yes. Agreed. I will make the journey to seek the extract deep within the nest, in the sacred nectarium. But I cannot hope to bring it back alone. We must remain to keep the Alex Vance alive. Please, Freeman, join me. Yes, take yes. the Yes, there is no final Just companion. So well stated. Then 
miss them for you. I will Now, attack!
will find a way to open that gate so that we may proceed to battle. Predicament of the sword is the freedom of this pain or swiftness. I will observe with great anticipation. is an invaluable companion. Pity the generator that requires a Fortigon to operate. Freeman is a quick thinker and a fast. 
those crates. That immense repeller device promises to cease in this and If the free man is in agreement, let us find our way to the
you have summoned the lift. Observe how they fight on below. Heedless about escape. Well, this is all very amusing. Though we must not forget the gravity of our errand to heal the outsiders. An eternity is repose. The greatest peace for France, does it not? Larval clusters. They are commonly posted near the young.
bottom of this. This shaft connects to the chamber above, where my kin sustain the Alexans. Once we have the extract, we can rejoin them quickly, provided we can restore elevator function. But how? How shall we descend? When you reach the lower chamber, you must find a way to send me. Remember, do not kill the Guardian, or the extract will be ruined!
my sense of freedom down below. Sint of Rye will fetch back. Follow me while I track it to the surface. You have done the hardest work omitting entrance to this chamber. Truly, the life of Alex Vance is in the able hand. Compounds. The extract is the most prized by far. 
It dissolves her false veils that divide the Votessas. All this you shall witness, man. As we imbibe the extra. Yes. A human is needed. Agreed. Join us, Freeman. We weave the Freeman's life with hers. Yes, there is a quickening. Oh, Sporto, this bond between. Freeman. I realize this moment may not be the most convenient for a heart to heart, but I had to wait until your friends were otherwise occupied. There was a time they cared nothing for Miss Vance, when their only experience of humanity was a crowbar coming at them down a steel corridor. When I plucked her from Black Mesa, I acted in the face of objections that she was a mere child and of no practical use to anyone. I have learned to ignore such naysayers when quelling them was out of the question. Still, I am not one to squander my investments. And I remain confident she was worth far more than the initial appraisal. That's why I must now extract from you some small repayment owed for your own survival. See her safely to White Forest, Dr. Freeman. I wish I could do more than keep an eye on you. But I have agreed to abide by certain restrictions. Well, now, listen carefully, my dear. When you see your father, relay these words. Prepare for unforeseen consequences. Is regained. We have a very huh. measurable loss. Oh, God. Lie oh. still. Oh. oh, my God. I thought. I thought for sure I was dead. The Combine Hunters caused traumatic injury. A hunter. So that's what it was. We knit shattered bone and restored circulatory integrity. Yet, it was a free man who retrieved her vortessence. Yeah, that's Gordon. How long have I been out? A matter of hours. Hours? Oh, we've got to get moving. A moment longer. But... It, we have to get to White Forest. It's vital. No fear. We will put you on the right road. Now. Try carefully to rise. Whoa. I don't know what you did, but I have a feeling I'm lucky to be here. Come then. I will get you on the path to White Forest. Come on, Gordon. Next we to will me. Continue our hunt for advisors. 
Farewell. Go safe. Travel well. Good luck out there. Okay, Freeman. Be adequate. What the hell does that mean, anyway? I don't know. Sounds like something the forts would say. I think I can walk on my own now. Let me give it a shot. <sighs> yeah. Stiff, but I think I'm okay. That was a guardian. Somebody must have done something to piss it off. The guardian is enraged over our theft of the extract. If it tries to hinder our progress, we will have no choice but to kill it. You messed with its eggs? Oh, no wonder it's mad. Should keep the free man safe. Advisors still in incubation pods. They gather and unite the scattered combine forces. So that's what we saw in the Citadel. They're sure in a hurry. They move north with great purpose. North? White Forest! We have to get there ahead of them! I know of humans with the vehicle not far from here. They will understand our urgent need. What are we waiting for?
consequence. Sentries should have spotted us by now. You think the Combine found them? Such a theory is hardly far-fetched. I 
found them all right. But came to no good end themselves. Head crabs have had their way with both parties. Hey, look! Out on that bridge. I think I see the car you were talking about. It appears they attempted an escape, but made it no farther than the abyss. Well, if they got it over there, maybe we can jump it back to this side. We recommend the Freeman for this task. Hey! I'm feeling a lot better. That condition will not last long if you plunge into the toxins below. Or you would do well to lend our protection from above, while Freeman skirts the hazards in the pit. This mounted gun may prove useful. The gun would appear to be powerless. Go, Freeman. I will look after the Alex Vans. Well, Gordon, I guess it's all up to you. Here, I'll get this field down. Good luck, Gordon. Careful now.
great driving, Gordon. Well done. Oh my god. Look at this car. We scored. Shotgun. Oh, unless you want it. I fear a more urgent errand demands our attention. There are advisors yet unhatched. We'll keep on the lookout. This road will take you near White Forest. But be wary that others may use it as well. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Our bonds are of nature and require no gratitude. it wouldn't be as easy as just driving down the road. Looks like we'll have to take a detour. Working, we need to send a warning to White Forest. They've got no idea the Combine's heading their way. Nobody's home. Wonder how long it's been deserted. They must have a transmitter in one of these buildings. Here's the transmitter. Mm, no power, though. Let's see if we can get some electricity going.
Warden, hide. Probably a scouting party. Here it is. Okay. Ah, uh, the signal's really weak. Well, let's give it a try. White Forest, come in. White Forest, do you read? White Forest, do you read? This is White Forest. Identify yourself. This is Al Alex. Alex Vance? Where are you? I expected you hours ago. Well, we had a bit of a setback. Don't you understand the gravity of the situation? The survival of Earth depends on the data you carry. Yes, carried. I know. But the Combine, they're heading your way. What? What's that? What? You're heading our way? Well, I should hope so. No, not what? us. What was that? The Combine. You You're breaking up, ready. Alex. What? What? Crap. I wonder if he got any of that. Let's get back on the road. Here, let me open the gate. Let's keep going. See if we can pick up the road somewhere ahead. Oh, 
what? What was that? There it is again. There's an advisor around here someplace. Looks like we weren't the first to find this place. them before they hatch. Hmm. Ah, life support. What do you say, Gordon? Shall we pull the plug? Sorry about this. Hmm. Maybe I can get this open. There we go. Over to you, Gordon. was hurt. Did you see it? I can only imagine what it would have done if... Uh-oh. Sounds like it called its friends. Soldier!
this way. Since you brought that chopper in on your tail, you wanna maybe help us take it down? Oh, with pleasure. Are we glad to see you guys. Huh. That was amazing. <laughs> the way you threw their minds right back at them. Well, I could sure use a drink. Who's with me? We need to get back on the road, but our engine's shot to hell. I don't suppose you got any tools for working on cars. Tools? <laughs> got a whole shop over here. Come on, we'll get you set up. I give the Combine a lot of credit, though. They're tough competitors. A real class act. Shut up. You 
weren't kidding. We'll be back on the road in no time. Well, that could be a problem. You hear that auto gun going off out there? We normally run supplies out of the White Forest base, but a few days ago the Combine cut off access. What do you think, Gordon? Maybe while I'm getting the car fixed up, you can see about clearing up that roadblock. All the fresh zombies coming out of City 17 have kept them pinned down. But it's just a matter of time till the troops start pushing this way. If you think you're up to it, we'll let you out there. <laughs> He's always up for it. Right, Gordon? We got a trap door up here where I can let you over to the other side. That way you'll get to see the gun before it sees you. Good luck taking out that auto gun.
Freeman, heck of a job! Come on. Not only did they help me fix the car, they threw in a bonus. Special this week only. It's like an onboard radar for you guys. Picks up little beacon jobbers like this one here. We've hidden a bunch of these things out there in the field to signal emergency stashes. So keep an eye out. When you see your dashboard light up, you're gonna want to stop and estimate. I'll fill you in on the road, Gordon. Thanks again, you guys. No need to thank me. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's that? Something on the radar. Stop the car, Gordon. According to the radar, it looks like there's a supply cache here. <laughs> I guess you cleared up that little problem. inside for the cash.
want their stuff back. radar. Now why would the Combine put a roadblock way out here? This could be combine handiwork. Hard to be sure. There's so many ways to die out here.
level is 100%.
of time. It's too much. Let's get moving before they send more. yourself you don't look too good well let's find the power supply for this force field There's the power source for the shields. Huh. They haven't skimped on security, either. Let me see if I can disable the shields and get you closer to the reactor. Okay, it looks like I can open them from here, but I won't be able to come in with you. Here goes. <sighs> Sorry, Gordon. This thing's fried. Since I can't help you in there, why don't I stand by the side while you disable the power source? Had enough surprises for one day.
Let's go see if the force hits down. Let's hope there's no more combine between here and White Forest. White Forest. Well, we're close enough to make it the rest of the way on foot if we have to. Whoa, a dropship. That must have been the crash we heard. White Forest sentries are doing their job. Over here, boy! Wait, that sounds like... Dog, please. <laughs> You're all right. You had me ruined there. Everything working all right? Good. You all right down there? We're fine. Dog, okay. Better now. We've been waiting for you. Just follow the stream, then head up the other side. White Forest is right there. You can't miss it. All right. All right, thanks. Okay, let's go. Come on, Gordon. Get the car and we'll challenge Dog to a race. Good boy. Looks like we need your help again. Would you mind? Okay, dog. 
Race you to the base. <laughs> Step on it, Gordon. close when we saw a dog take off like that. I was never so glad to see him, believe me. Well, Gordon, White Forest, we made it. Safe at last. Dr. Freeman, you made it. Hey! Boy, are we glad to be here. Yeah, we heard you ran into a little trouble out there. The Combine's been trying to head in the front door. <laughs> I think they learned their lesson. You mind if we, uh, keep dog patrolling out here? <laughs> Not at all. You heard him, dog. I'm gonna go see Dad. I'll catch up to you later. You take care of yourself. I don't think Eli knows you're here yet. He's in Silo 1 access unit, right through here. Shall we? I don't feel anything anymore. <laughs> you You're talking to me? What now? This oh no, what's that? Well, now what? Sure All right, back to work, everyone. It's just another false alarm in the okay, secondary dark. silo. Let's take a walk. Same old Dr. Magnuson. So? Have you ever used an AR-2 before? AR-2? No. Now, an AR-3, sure. Plenty of times. There is no such thing as an AR-3. Well, see, in the city, the place was lousy with AR-3s. No, it was So do you know what the alternative fire method does on the AR-2? It kills hunters. Hey! Gordon! Man, you made it! Dad! Alex! I was so afraid I wouldn't see you again. There, there, sweetheart. We're together now. That's all that matters. And look at you, son. <laughs> I knew if you both stayed together, you could get through anything. Yeah? We make a pretty good team. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good, because, well, now that the suppression feels down, we all have to do our part. Dad! Can you blame an old man for warning grandkids? <laughs> <laughs> What's... what happened to you? Dad, it's not what it looks like. I'm fine. Are you sure? Shouldn't we have that look then? Really? I'm fine. Uh, where's Dr. Kleiner? We should get this data to him right away. Oh, uh, okay. Yes, yes we should. He'll be glad for a chance to get out of the silo. This way, Gordon. The way he and Magnuson have been going at it, you'd think they were still competing for grant money. <laughs> <laughs> Something's never changed. <laughs> Do we have any idea how long until the Super Portal's active? We don't know for certain. We're keeping an eye on it. And what about the Combine? Will we be able to launch before they attack? It's gonna be close. All it would take is one Strider to destroy our rocket. But we're ready for him. I'm sorry we couldn't get here any sooner, Dad. Don't worry, sweetheart. We're gonna make it. I'm just so glad to have you back. <sighs> I'm glad to be back. Magnuson. <sighs> 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 
There's no call for hurtful comments. Lord Grief. Eli! Why didn't you tell me they'd arrive? Don't worry, Izzy. They just got here. My dear, what a relief. Not to mention a delight to see you here at last. And Gordon, I see you in the HEV suit have taken excellent care of each other. <laughs> They're inseparable. The data, people, the data! Kleiner, are you going to sync up the satellite, or should I postpone the launch to make time for a family reunion? All right, all right. All right. I was just saying hello to Alex and Gordon. Oh, fine. No one grants me a moment's peace, but by all means, unroll the red car. Good grief. I only meant they might... I know, I know. Oh, never mind him. Now, my dear, where is this data packet you've been carrying? If I delay a single moment, I'll never hear the end of it. You have my word on it. It's right here, Dr. Kleiner. We've got a ton of data. The strange thing is, it was all attached to a transmission from Judith. Transmission? From Judith? Do you mean the message didn't get through? We've got to see this right away. Just let me start the decoding process, and then we can view it in the auxiliary control room. For God's sake, hurry. Yes, yes, of course. Another alarm? Oh, what next in the parade of constant interruptions? Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Anyone? Ugh, false alarms all day. Damn crows have been nesting in the tracks. I do not know how I am supposed to concentrate with all of this racket. Freeman. Freeman, you're not doing anything. Make yourself useful and find out what the hell is going on in there. Uh, yes. Gordon, if you don't mind, I'd feel better if you had a look. Catch up with us when you're done. Freeman! Blast doors will have sealed due to the alert, so you'll have to go through the bottom of the launch tube. I'll open this hatch to let you down. Now, once you're down there, I'll have Uriah take you into the secondary silo. Magnuson has instructed me to admit you into the secondary silo. The secondary silo can be reached through here.
until you sealed off the silo when the blast doors opened up. Regrettably true. I better let my dad know you're all right. Dad? Yes, Alex. Is everything okay? Is Gordon all right? Yes, he's fine. And thanks to him, the base is secure. Good, good. We're about to watch the transmission from Judas. We'll head right over. The Freeman must follow. If you would take the Freeman from here, I can return to my place of honor at the side of the Magnuson. Sure thing. Thanks for the help. Dr. Kleiner told me that Judith headed north in a helicopter right after they got here. But he wouldn't tell me why. If the site is where we think it is, then it should be no more than... I'm gonna cut this short. We may have been spotted. I should never have let her go. There was no stopping her, Eli. Wait a moment. There's something else here. It's the Borealis. Good. God. Incredible! What? The Borealis? It's real? Oh yes, quite real, despite its almost legendary stature. 
our peers at Aperture Science were at work on a project of some promise, but in their rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, they must have compromised ordinary standards of risk. We heard their research vessel had simply disappeared, vanished with all hands, and even part of the dry dock. Few believed the Borealis would ever be seen again. It should have been lost forever. Ah, but now that we've found it, we can use it against the Combine. Did you- Use it? That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. We can't simply waste all that potential- Did Black Mesa taught you anything? There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes. There's always a risk, Eli. But my goodness, we have coordinates, blueprints, hailing frequencies. Quite ingenious of Dr. Mossman to hide it all in the carrier way. Well, that means she's still alive up there. But if the Combine catch her, he'll tear out everything she knows. There'll be nothing left of her. But we don't know for sure I won't that... take that chance. I'm going after Dad. her. Dad! Now, Eli, the only thing worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the Resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad. Gordon and I are more than able to handle this. We'll get her back. Kleiner, where are you? Why isn't the decoding finished? Oh, fie. The code. Yes, Magnuson, it just needs a little bit longer. If you're waiting for the Combines, go ahead. They'll soon be here to give it to you in person. I'll hurry along, Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Dad, are you okay? Not again. No, I can't. I can't let it happen again. Not another black place. Dad, prepare for unforeseen consequences. What did you say? Dad! Okay. It's okay. Just, just lean into me. Let's get you off your feet. Thank you, baby. I'll be fine in a minute or two. Okay. Do you need anything? Actually, Alex, would you... Would you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Gordon, do you keep an eye on him? We're, we're not going anywhere. Thank you, baby. Unforeseen consequences. <laughs> the last time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa. You had just stepped into the test chamber when he whispered them in my ear. You know who I'm talking about. Our mutual friend. When he brought in that crystal, I knew I... I should have aborted that damn test, but I didn't. The whole world went to hell that day. And now, now he's using my little girl, putting words in her mouth. God damn it. I should have known when he rescued her it was for his own damn reasons. Gordon, there's so much I need to tell you. Between us, we may finally have a chance. Uh, Here you go. Is everything all right? There's nothing. All right, people, change of plans. There is no way we can launch before those striders are... Oh, oh, excuse me if I'm interrupting tea time. I'll just step out until you've finished, if that's more convenient for you. Well, Freeman, I believe I've found the perfect use for you. Follow me, quickly. We'll, uh, we'll talk later. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Freeman, striders are coming. A single one of those damn things could shoot down our rocket. We don't dare launch until all striders are destroyed. Now you've proved yourself capable, and the staff seem to respect you. Therefore, I'm putting defense of White Forest and this ingenious new weapon of mine in your hands. We call it the Magnuson device. Not my chosen label, you understand, but it seemed to please the personnel. Now look lively in there. Warm up the delivery port. Whatever you say. Now what it is, 
is a sort of sticky bomb, although cleverer than that makes it sound. From your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull, then blow it up. I've struggled with a mechanism for launching the device, but... Well, your zero-point energy field manipulator clears up that little problem. Now follow me, and we'll let you get in some practice while we still have time. Don't be alarmed, Freeman. This Strider's days of impaling your friends are a thing of the past. Now, out in the field, we'll supply you with all the Magnuson devices you need through delivery ports like this one. For the safety of the base, these devices are deactivated. They cannot explode like those you will find in the base. That's right. Now toss it at the main body of the Strider. Good. Now, take out the firearm of your choice and shoot the device. There you go. Ah, not too difficult at this range, is it? Gets a bit harder when it's moving about and firing at you, of course. Now, let's move on to a more challenging task. Uriah, send the target to the far end of the rails. Very well, Freeman. Try it now. bit more challenging at this range, isn't it? Magnificent device, isn't it? I'll be right over here when you are ready to head up. Had enough? Your car is fueled and ready to go. Now, every building in the valley has its own dispenser port, so you'll have ample supply of explosives. Now, I must get back to my rocket, Freeman. I'm relying on you not to squander my trust or my magnesons. Oh, and Freeman, if you pull this off, I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. You know the one I mean involving a certain microwave casserole. Hey, Dr. Freeman, over here. Taking a few liberties with your car. Check it out. I added a rack for Magnuson devices back here. I tweaked your onboard radar so the combines show up red on the dashboard unit now. Plus, it'll send a homing signal to your HEV suit in case you get separated from your car. No need to thank me. Now check this map. We're right here at the south end of the valley. Rest of the gangs up north by the old sawmill, here. Head on up there, and they'll fill you in on the battle plan. I'll be staying here to watch the field and send status updates. Good luck out there. Sent Freeman, have they? Good man. We've counted a dozen striders just north of us. 
Our job is to keep them from reaching the base to the south. If they get close enough for one good shot at the silo, the whole launch is a bust. And in case striders aren't bad enough, recon indicates they're being escorted by packs of hunters. Now, what I want you to do... Attention! Uh oh North perimeter breach! Alright, people, this is it! We have a strider <laughs> approaching from the crane! Defensive position! Go!
defeated. All personnel return to base immediately. Repeat, all personnel return to base immediately. Hey, Gordon Freeman. Yeah. Wow. Thanks, Freeman. Good going. Wow, Gordon. You were amazing out there. Come on. Launches in its final stages. The portal's close to opening, but Dr. Magnuson sure will be in time to stop it. Alignment complete. Tracking beacon. Oh, there's another bit of cruft. Port equipment power down. Uh, hold on a moment, Climber. Ah, Freeman. Well, I see the Magnuson device performed flawlessly. I feel compelled to thank you personally for saving my rocket. So, um... Thank you. <clears throat> well, that's enough chit-chat. I've got a rocket to launch. <laughs> wow. For a minute there, I thought Satellite you were going to get a hug. Powered and ready. Check, check, check. Let's go to the control room. We can get a great view of the launch from there. Did you do that? What? This one? Flight termination system? Well, here we are again. While you were out having fun, I found an old helicopter that I was able to get working. I've got it all packed up and ready to go. Never a dull moment, huh? Wait a moment. I'm seeing a payload anomaly of approximately eight and a half pounds. Well, that's within tolerance. Uh, certainly not worth scuttling. We're back! At last. Ah, oh, Gordon. Hell of a job you did out there, son. Uh, let's not forget that with the Magnuson device, those striders practically destroy themselves. Yes. Well, I think perhaps Gordon had something to do with their success. I suggest we adjourn this meeting of the Mutual Admiration Society until after we have launched our rocket. Now, I believe we're ready to start the auto sequence. I believe Gordon should have the honor. You'll hear no objection from me. It's all yours, Gordon. celebrate. We need to reach altitude and transmit the signal. Too right. The clock is ticking. We couldn't have cut it any closer if that was our intention. It is going to work, right? It has to. Once the rocket is in range of the portal, we'll be able to switch on the Xenium resonator. Well, let's get outside. I'd like a better view of the fireworks. There should be quite a show. Regrettably, I can't come out with you. Magnuson and I will need to keep a close eye on the rocket's trajectory. Aren't you going to see us off? Just as soon as this is wrapped up. I wouldn't dream of letting you go without a proper goodbye. Okay, I'll hold you to that. You too, Dr. Magnuson. Indeed. We'll catch up with you in a moment, sweetheart. Gordon, hold on. Oh, there you are. The more I think about that warning from our friend, the more I'm convinced it has to do with Borealis. Don't be deceived. That ship must never be used. You have got to destroy it, whatever the cost. Where are you two? You're gonna miss it. Be right there, Alex. Gordon, thanks for everything you've done. For Alex, for all of us. I couldn't be prouder if you were my own son. Now when you get back, we've got a lot to talk about. Dear God, this has to work. We've activated the resonator. This is it. Oh, my goodness. Yes. 
it's yes. working. Yes. <laughs> we did it. We did it, Gordon. We sure as hell did. And not a moment too soon. <laughs> I'll bet the Combine aren't too happy right now. You got that right, sweetheart. But we've got plenty to celebrate. I wish you didn't have to head off so soon. If only it weren't so critical. It's okay, Dad. We'll find Judith and bring her back. Dog? Hey, where are you? What a nut. Don't go too far. Well, there she is. Gassed up and ready to go. Remember to keep in constant contact. We have no idea what to expect. Don't worry, Dad. We'll be all right. I just wish all this didn't have to fall on you, Alex. Your mother would be so proud. Dad. <laughs> Come on, Gordon. The chopper's waiting for us. Are you sure you have everything you need? I think so. Dr. Kleiner gave us the Borealis coordinates. We'll keep the hailing frequency open on the chopper radio in case Judith tries to reach us again. Good idea. She could well make another attempt. Oh no. Dad! Gordon! Help! Ah! Dad! Alex! Dad! Oh. Get away! Destroy that ship! <sighs> Whatever it takes! Destroy it! Don't! <laughs> Dad, look out! <clears throat> no! <clears throat> Dad! Dad! God damn it, let go of him! <clears throat> oh my god! I love you, sweetheart. Close your eyes, honey! I love you, Dad! Don't look! No! Oh my god! No! No! Gordon! Dog! Dad! Oh god! Dad! Dad! Dad, please! Dad! Oh my god. No. 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 Oh my god.